Hey guys, check this out. We're in Austin, Texas at the Texas Woodworking Festival and we've got some really cool stuff to show you. Stick around. So as always guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon. We got a bunch of awesome stuff coming up that you're not gonna wanna miss. So here we go, let's go find some cool stuff to check out. So guys, this is Jesse and he makes these custom wooden speakers and they're pretty freaking awesome man so tell us a little bit about your speakers what do you make them out of so they're all kind of different they're all different materials different sources um, i enjoy getting recycled material from all different places so like this one in particular all the wood came from a pallet oh uh, no kidding yeah i was cutting up pallets to burn and saw the poplar this strange spalted maple and uh, kept it and built a speaker out of it. This one, all the wood came from a boat. Somebody salvaged a boat and was really? tossing the wood, took the wood. I've made quite a few speakers out of it. Uh, and then like this one, the front is made out of old skateboards. Uh, and the awesome. body is actually also pallet. So now, do you do all the electronics and stuff too, or do you just put speakers in, a, in the, the box? No, I do everything myself. So I've, didn't really know how to do it, and I burned down a couple speakers in the beginning, yeah. learning how to wire and solder and you know connect everything right. And the longer I went, the better I got at it. Now I make some really cool stuff. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. So now are these plug-in speakers or are these Bluetooth? So they're all Bluetooth and they also have an auxiliary input. Okay. So you can plug in if you want or just straight Bluetooth. They function just like every other Bluetooth speaker you've ever had, like a Bose or you know JBL or something. They're just a lot cooler, handmade, and longer battery life. All right, and so, so they're rechargeable then? Yes, and each oh. one comes with a charger, everything you need. Okay. So then what are you, what's your price range? They range 250 all the way up to a grand. Average is about three, 350. It kind of okay. just depends on size, electronics, and materials. They're awesome, dude. They really, really cool looking speakers. Jesse, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for all the information for Tinker Audio so you guys can go check it out. Hey guys, we are here at the Mullet Tools booth and we met DJ and we think we, he's got a great product that you guys are going to love. DJ. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Can you kind of explain what it is your product does? Yeah, so a couple years ago we launched the Cyclone Separator, which is a pre-separator keeping that back filter clean and okay. the suction strong, gotcha. capturing over 99% of debris up front with this rigid connection making you able to move it around the shop really easily. Gotcha. Then here at the show, we released this third hand dust collection boom So this arm. is a brand new product this you is just new. released? That's right, Got within it. the last month. Okay. So what we're doing is targeting all the suction power of that vacuum or that dust extractor at the hood up front. So as you're working on things, as you know well, working on things where you can't naturally get dust collection yeah. at the source, yeah. you can position this hood right where you're working and collect as you work, as opposed to having to clean up more after yourself when you're done. That's brilliant. And for our people, there's a lot of people that are freehand routing and they're doing sanding and stuff. Sometimes they're in a, an area where they don't want a lot of dust. If you're carving outside, it doesn't matter. That's but if right. you're in an apartment or in a spare room or whatever, dust collection is a huge thing for a lot of our people. So That's right. this thing uh, is really cool. Now, the the apparatus itself. Can you hook this up without without this? Yes, sir, that's right. So this is just based off an inch and a half schedule 40 PVC. So this just pops off ah, of that inlet. Okay. And then you can then hook this up to a shop back base we have, right. hook it up to a workbench, or kind of rig up your own system based off, again, inch right. and a half PVC you can find at any home center or hardware right. store out there. That's brilliant, man. And with Very these articulating cool. pivots here, right? It yeah. just makes you so you can reposition and then cinch that back down when you're done exactly where you need it. Yeah. So as far as the articulating stuff and the, the cinching down, um, is it pretty much 
repeatable and, and pretty solid to the point where you can move it 10 times and not have those things strip yeah, out? Yeah, good question. So we made this out of a clear polycarbonate. So polycarbonate's wow. known to be super durable yeah. and impact resistance as well. So this is intended to, over the life of it, to use it repeatedly to loosen it up, tighten it up, loosen it up, Got tighten it. it up to reposition it. Yeah. And then, and but the good thing is we made them clear so you could see the debris pass through yeah. as well as see, hey, I got a big chunk went through there and get hung up. You can see it, pop off your PVC pipe, clear that real fast, and you're ready to go again. Yeah. Wow, what a cool idea. Or is this, this pretty much is the product whether you hook it up to this or anything. So what kind of price point have we got on this? Yeah, like so it this? starts at $150 for the boom arm itself. Right. That again, you can connect into different pieces yeah. as accessories to kind of build the package that's just right for you. Wow, that's cheap. <laughs> I, I'm surprised. I thought it would be about twice that. Uh, that's cheap for all that all that you get. Man, that is very, very And I think cool. what people also really appreciate is you can actually pop off this dust hood oh. here on the base end. So I guess it's all PVC, right? Yeah. So you can pump this off, put a hose adapter on the end and drop a hose from overhead as well as you work, whether you're sanding or as you guys, you know, routing and other yeah. things too. Yeah. You can do that as well. So we've got a lot of a lot of opportunities when it's based off inch and a half It's PVC. very versatile, really super versatile. I love it, man. I got to get one of these things. Thank you, brother. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, so you guys, we'll put all the links in the description below. Guys, go check this out. If you're carving indoors, I think this is a must. I think you guys really ought to consider getting one of these. All right, guys, so thanks again, DJ. We appreciate it. Let's go check out something else cool. All right, guys, so you got to check this out. With our chop saw, half the time we're having to rig something up to keep our boards from falling and stuff, but these guys came up with an awesome fence. This is Red House Tools, and these are the Easy Wings. So this is Cal. Cal, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So can you tell us a little bit about your product and what kind of separates it from the competition? Yeah, absolutely. So this is our flagship product. It's called the Easy Wings, like he just said. And what it is, is it's a universal miter saw support system. When it's a universal, it means it can adapt to any miter saw, any brand, make, model, size, year, anything like that. And it does so with this patented Easy Base design that we have here. And the Easy Base design interfaces to your miter saw with just these two little thumb screws. All right. And the base can adjust to the width to, to um, account for whatever width your, uh, your bolt pattern is on your miter saw. Nice. So once you get that locked into place, your base is set. And then to interface the wings to the Easy Base, it's just as easy as one little dovetail. And the entire system slides on and off just like oh, that. Dude. And if you want to, actually a lot of people like to leave this on as part of their saw because it's easy to, you know, it acts as a handle, take it on and off and set it on your bench or set it back on your stand. But if you don't want to leave this on, just like I said, two thumb screws pops right off. So to put it back on, just, just as simple, just in reverse. And slide that on and it locks into place with this one little T nut here. That is nice. Man. So once it's set, this system right here can hold as much as the stand can handle. Okay. So if your stand can hold a thousand pounds, it'll hold a thousand pounds. If you don't want to use it on the stand, you don't have to. You don't even have to take it off of your stand base here. You can unclip the entire thing from the stand, set it on the bench top here, and then all of our wings come with these flip down legs. So it can be supported just on the bench top just as easy it is as it is on the stand. On the bench top set up like this, it can hold about 2,400 pounds, so much more weight than you'd ever need to, oh, need yeah. to hold for sure. So the extensions just break apart with these bolts and it breaks down in two foot little sections. You can even transport it in a small bag just like that. So the systems can be adapted to be any size you want. Like you can see back here, we've got six feet on either side. We've got people that are looking for eight, 10, 12 feet on either side, and you can buy as many of these extensions as you want make it as long as you, you got room for. Man. So beginner packages are basic system over here. Okay. So the basic setup comes with everything you see here, of course, without the saw on the stand, but it's got two feet of support on either side. Comes with the back fences, and the back fences, I didn't point this out, but these are able to slide in and out. So the back fence can slide in and out to adjust to, to oh, accommodate your fence. Dude. And then if you want to, you can slide it in front of your existing fence and make a zero clearance insert against your blade. Yeah, what does this run? This basic setup runs um, six twenty nine. Okay. Um, and with our show special, we're doing a fifteen percent off, so it comes down to about five five twenty. Keep in mind, these are all sixty sixty one aerospace grade machined aluminum, so they are as rigid and stable as you can possibly get. 
Comes with everything you see here, like I said, back fences, uh, wings, the easy base, carrying case. And then you move up to our pro system, which is the first one we were looking at. Yeah. Comes with a set of extensions, a longer back fence, a 36 inch back fence, bigger carrying case. And then our pro plus system is what you see set up here. Same thing, but with just longer back fences, one more gotcha. set of extensions, and a carrying case that's got some, some wheels on the bottom of it, so. Now, how about like stop blocks? Does it come with any stop blocks? It does not, but we do offer our patented stop block system here. It's indexed with hard stops at 45 and 90. You can slide it in and out of these T-tracks. We're just the standard Procol T-tracks. These are the Rockler okay. profile. So it accepts any of the standard stop blocks. Same thing with our back fence. It accepts any of the, the flip down stops, uh, measuring systems, jigs, angle gauges. Awesome. So this thing is pretty cool because not only does it work you know, at a 45 or 90, but you can use it as a crown cut to cut crown in position. Yeah. And then if you flip it over like this, so say you've got a miter saw that only cuts at like 45 degrees, it only swings to 45 degrees. This is automatically already set at 45. So if you push this all the way out here, Set this to 45, set your miter saw to 15, 20, whatever, you're cutting at 60 or 65 degrees already. So, so we do offer these. We offer the flip down stop blocks. So all those accessories fit right into this. I and these are removable, of course. They can pack up right in the, the carrying cases that we offer. Man. So everything's super transportable. You can be up and ready to go in about a minute and a half. Dude, I gotta tell you, this is a nice system. I just, I dig the crap out of it. Thank you. Check us out at uh, redhousetools.com. We've got a pre-order special going on, like I said, 15% off anything through August 31st. Um, you can also go onto our website and enter for a chance to win the pro setup, and we're gonna do a drawing on September 15th. So, All right. redhousetools.com. Right on, guys. I'll leave a link in the description for all of their information, and uh, man, I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but just feeling these things, they're just as solid as it gets. They're just really nice products. Cal, hey, appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, man, of course. Absolutely. All right, let's go check something else out. Hey, guys, we are with Ray at Gotwood Cups booth. And you gotta see what this guy does. It's absolutely amazing. I am just absolutely in love with what this guy does. So, Ray, take it away, what do you do? So, you basically have four types of cups. We've chosen, we make what's called a ring mug where we've, we waste very little lumber. We take some dimensional lumber, and we cut a big old chunk out of it in a circle, and then we core it out from each one, creating a Russian doll concept. Each size comes out of the next one. So we absolutely despise wasting lumber. We let the wood do what it wants to do. There's no coatings here to create the UV effect of keeping the purple heart from getting purpler. The cherry here will deepen a little bit more. Uh, the maple here is pretty naturalized, so it's going to take and come to that. Now, wood cups, natural at keeping your drinks colder. It'll last longer that way, it's a good insulator. If you're into reenactments, into Renaissance Fair, just imagine, 14th century, what were they drinking out of? Something wood. But they didn't have the modern day coatings that we have today. So yeah. now we're able to make it food safe. Yeah. And that's, that's where we wanna be. We wanna make a nice product. We keep our walls fairly thick. You turn around and break one of these, you're gonna get it back to us in five pieces or less. We're gonna figure out how to make it drink again. Yeah. That way, you're always drinking. Another little caveat we do is the inside of each one of our mugs. This particular one is pretty sweet. Inside's got a clock, so it's always five o'clock wherever you're at. <laughs> That's cool. You're looking for something like that, we do customs. You want your corporate logo in the bottom? We certainly do that. If it's your intellectual property, we never break that trust. Right. You and you alone can own it. Three generations and a missus, so I cover all the bases. Yeah. And, uh, we absolutely love what we do. We love our patrons. We love taking care of people. You're literally bandsawing these out, the handles, one at a time. At least currently, that's the way you're doing it? Absolutely. And then what's the coating on them? So when we make the cup, we make the tumbler first. Yeah. We totally encapsulate it. We can put it on the shelf and sell it. It is totally sealed. Then we sand it down. We bond a handle on. JB Weld Clear, hard as rocks. Yeah. Holds that handle on, but then we tow another mile and we put at least two more coatings of our epoxy on here. Very special company, they're actually displaying here today, called Artistry Epoxy, we've been using their substance for two years now. 
amazing customer service, amazing product. It rolls so nice. Yeah. So we'll keep putting coats until we get a coat that one, I'm happy with, and two, it encapsulates the handle. Yeah. So to break a handle off, that's not gonna happen just like passing laws in Congress. <laughs> and they stay right with our warranty. If you manage to break a handle, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna make it better. Yeah. You know, there's just no such thing as bad customer service in our mind. We've got some wonderful species. We've got some yellow heart. We've got some walnut. We got some purple heart. We got a special one made out of wenge and yellow heart. Very special product, looks like a bumblebee. Then all of the cherry that we see on our shelves, we had a wonderful family that had this in their garage and their barn for 20 years. It's in its third life. It had been a walkway at one time. <laughs> then they were making a structure out of it. And they offered it to us a couple years ago. And it's such a beautiful product. And you'll see they all look kind of butcher blocks because they started off as two inch wide planks that were all glued together yeah. ugly. Yeah. First piece that I saw of it, I didn't want it. Polished it up and said, okay, I'll take every piece. I'll actually be really sad and remiss when I'm done with this product because I'll never be able to copy it again. Right. Now, what is this here? That is Purple Heart. That is Purple Heart. Yeah. Okay. Neat little uh, history on Purple Heart. It used to be used for pallets. It yeah. is hard as rock. Oh, yeah. It's very Now, for our novice woodworkers, the one thing I'm going to pass on this, if you ever work with it, use your respirator. Yeah. When you sand Purple Heart, it is a carcinogen similar to asbestos. Ah. You don't want to take and get yourself in trouble. You need to, anytime you pick up a new species, look it up, yeah. research that. Yeah. My personal nemesis is the yellow heart. I'm allergic to it. A lot of people can work with it anytime. Yeah. Me, causes blisters inside my nose if I don't mask wow. up. Really? So you always want to be really cognizant of what you're working with. Yeah. And if you don't know what that wood is, always side on caution. Thank you, my Thank friend. You. Thank you. It's so much fun to meet you and learn what you do. Guys, uh, definitely check them out. How can they get a hold of you? So, our primary source of contact is you can take and email us at gotwoodcups with a period in between each word at gmail.com. Yep. Uh, you can go on Facebook. We're on that book of faces, as we say in the Renaissance world. Look up Gotwood Cups because we've got wood. It's not just a rumor. So we are getting ready to close down the Texas Woodworking Festival, uh, but we have been blessed that this whole weekend, we have had the best neighbor in the world. I want to introduce you to James. Well, actually, why don't you introduce yourself? All right. I'm James Wolf, uh, affectionately known as the Bamboo Master because I've uh, been working in bamboo for more than 30 years. Yeah, and we're just absolutely fascinated by what you do. So you actually perfected just all different kinds of ways to, to make bamboo furniture, is that right? Yeah, bamboo furniture, bamboo products, bamboo bicycles, bamboo skateboards, and architecture. When I was 22 years old, I left America and I apprenticed to a master woodworker in Japan. Right. And then uh, after a few years of that, I got interested in bamboo as an alternative to wood, and I moved to Vietnam in Fascinating. 1995. Fascinating. So you've yeah. been working with bamboo since then? Yep, been working yeah. with wood for about 45 years and with bamboo for 30. I see stools and chairs and, you know, showers and just all different kinds of stuff. So you make your product and you sell it and ship it like all over the place? Yep, well my home is in, in Vietnam. Yeah. My wife and I built a, a container house and it's surrounded oh. by our private bamboo plantation. Oh. And we take care of our bamboo, we, we grow it, we water it, we harvest it. Yeah. And uh, we also have a small family style uh, factory with about 15 craftspeople. Yeah. And uh, we design and make and produce and box and ship our stuff anywhere it needs to be. We're Americans, so, yeah. so our customers are mostly in America. Gotcha. We uh, have produced uh, ranges of furniture yeah. and shipped to Europe. Okay. Uh, bamboo furniture is really popular in Europe. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Boo Hugger is my brand. Gotcha. And that's, that's like my range. There's like a few products. There's the outdoor showers and the, the benches and stools and things yeah. like that. 
And that's my brand, that's Boo Hugger. You can go to boohugger.com, people can buy like the products that I'm offering. Um, the other thing that I do, and I've been doing also a really long time, is architectural projects. Yeah. I build tropical resorts, uh, places for healing and uh, yoga pavilions, yeah. and this kind of whole healing uh, industry, yeah. they really like building in bamboo. It just and feels more it's conducive natural to the natural and it's, thing. It's, it's organic, yeah. and so I do the architecture. I'll travel around the world. I work in Bali, in Vietnam, in Costa Rica, yeah. and I'll go and I'll do a training, and I'll teach 25 people how to build, and I have the design, and we're going to build these awesome things together. That is so and that's a cool. different website, yeah. and that's um, bamboomaster.co. Dot co. Co. Dot co. Gotcha. Yeah, Bamboo Master. Gotcha. People just always called me the Bamboo Master, so I that, named the company that. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So, guys, go check this guy out. It's unbelievable what he does. I was absolutely amazed by his craftsmanship, his artistry, his skill. It's just, it's so cool. You've got to check this guy out. All the links will be in the description below. My friend, it's so much Thank fun you. to meet you and yeah. uh, get to spend the weekend with you. Yep. It was awesome. Had a great time with you. All right, guys, so this has been the best show we've been to, oh. I think, ever. Yeah, I, I agree. It's been phenomenal. It's not, it wasn't a real big building, but man, it's been packed with people oh, yeah. both days. Both days, yeah. yeah. Today was a little bit slower, but I just, the wood cup guy, Ray, yeah. he said yesterday they had 1,400 people in here. Yeah. 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 It, just it, a great show, and everybody's nice, and Austin, Austin's a fun town. Austin's a cool place. I, it's so much beyond what I expected. Oh, yeah. Uh, just everything about it, the people are just amazing. This particular show, man, we, I, I don't want to miss another one. No. No, I think yeah. we'll be here every year. We will definitely be back. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We absolutely loved it. So much cool stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Or me, ryan at makeawoodsign.com. So now we got another hour or two left and uh, yeah. another beer or two to drink. Yeah, and then tomorrow we're driving home. Then we, oh, it got loud. All right, guys. We'll Love see you guys. guys on the next one. Okay, bye. Bye.